Have you ever wanted to explore your limits? Let us show you how. The new 911 GT2. It's clear that this car is built for performance. The front end aerodynamics have been revised to meet the high thermal load of the engine and the high brake performance. The large air intakes enable a higher throughput of air to the radiators and front brake units. The airstream from the central radiator is channeled through an integral air outlet ahead of the front lid up over the car, forcing the front end downwards and ensuring efficient cooling. The importance of air in the performance of the 911 GT2 is also apparent from the large intake openings in the rear side panels and from the cooling slits at the rear. Twin lightweight titanium tailpipes are incorporated within the rear apron design. The engine cover featuring the GT2 logo is made from lightweight glass fiber reinforced plastic. A fixed rear wing with integral spoiler lip ensures optimum stability at high speed. As the car accelerates, the intake openings on the rear wing uprights force additional air into the intake system. This ram air effect increases engine efficiency. The aerodynamic modifications result in outstanding handling, excellent grip, and greater directional stability. The GT2 features a twin turbo boxer engine with six cylinders and a 3.6 liter displacement. It generates 530 brake horsepower at 6,500 RPM and a maximum torque of 680 Newton meters. A standard sprint to 100 kilometers per hour, 62 miles per hour, requires 3.7 seconds and the sprint to 200 kilometers per hour, 124 miles per hour, just 11.2 seconds. The maximum speed is 329 kilometers per hour, 204 miles per hour. One of the reasons for this tremendous power is VarioCam Plus, a system combining variable valve timing with two-stage valve lift on the inlet side. Another element is the ram air intake system. Air is forced through the intake openings on the rear wing and onto the turbos. This reduces the resistance from the compressors so that there is less back pressure in the exhaust, which means greater engine performance. The turbochargers on the new 911 GT2 feature variable turbine geometry, VTG. The exhaust air that flows into the turbochargers is channeled onto the turbines via electronically adjustable guide vanes. By varying the vane angle, it is possible to change the speed of the gas flow and thus the pressure on the turbines. The performance of the turbochargers is optimized even at low engine speeds with a reduced exhaust flow. This leads to a much higher boost pressure, excellent cylinder charging, and greater torque. Maximum torque is achieved more quickly and sustained for longer, with 680 Newton meters available between 2200 and 4500 RPM. The resulting acceleration is nothing less than phenomenal. Low-optimized turbines and larger compressor units have been specially adapted for a more effective turbocharging process. The new 911 GT2 also has a totally new expansion intake manifold that is radically different to the existing induction principle for turbocharged engines. In all intake systems, the air vibrates as it moves through the system. This vibration is caused by the compression and expansion of the air. On conventional turbocharged engines, the air is in a compression phase as it passes through the inlet ports in order to increase the amount of air that enters the combustion chamber. Unfortunately, compression not only increases air volume, it also increases air temperature. The result is poorer ignition. 
the expansion manifold of the new 911 GT2 turns this principle around since the air is in the expansion phase as it enters the combustion chambers. Since expansion always cools, the air fuel temperature is lower and ignition is significantly improved, thereby increasing performance. Of course, the amount of air that enters the cylinders under expansion is less than it would be under compression. To compensate for this, we've simply raised the boost pressure from the turbochargers of the 911 GT2 by about 0.2 bar. The resulting increase in temperature, again through compression, is immediately offset by the uprated intercoolers. Instead of hot compressed air, we now have cooler air generating more power and torque. This leads to a major improvement in engine efficiency and fuel economy, even under heavy loads and at high RPM. Another enhancement is the higher rate of exhaust flow through the new main silencer, now made from lightweight titanium. The six-speed manual gearbox in the new 911 GT2 is specifically designed for the high engine performance, as are the individual ratios. The gear lever throw is short and precise. This is the first time that launch assistant is used in a road-going Porsche, a system designed to maximize acceleration from a standing start. To activate the function, simply depress the clutch and accelerator pedals when the vehicle is at rest. When the boost pressure rises to approximately 0.9 bar, release the clutch as quickly as possible. And forget everything you thought you knew about propulsion. Traction is maintained under acceleration with the aid of an all-new anti-slip regulation function. Wheel spin is controlled via the engine management system, thereby avoiding unnecessary clutch wear. As you'd expect from the 911 GT2, the drive is transferred directly from the rear axle to the road or racetrack. Other standard features include a limited slip differential with asymmetrical lock factor, offering better acceleration and handling when exiting a corner. It applies a higher proportion of drive torque to the loaded outer rear wheel. The independent front suspension combines McPherson type struts with longitudinal and transverse links for excellent handling and directional stability in all road and track scenarios. The rear axle assembly consists of a subframe mounted multi link suspension. Its light and design featuring an aluminum cross member is an important factor in the exceptional dynamics of the car. Ride height, camber, toe angle and anti-roll bar settings can all be adapted to individual circuit characteristics as befits a racing Porsche. For the first time, the new 911 GT2 features Porsche Active Suspension Management PASM. Based on the road conditions and driving style, this active damping system offers continuous adjustment of individual damping forces for optimum contact with the road. The driver can choose from two basic setup modes, normal and sport. Lightweight 19-inch GT2 wheels with road-approved sport tires ensure the necessary grip. Tire pressure monitoring, TPM, is standard. The standard Porsche Stability Management PSM is premiered in the 911 GT2. In addition to ABS, it has two automatic control systems, Stability Control, SC, and Traction Control, TC. Stability Control, SC, is responsible for lateral dynamics and applies selective braking on individual wheels to restore vehicle control if the car begins to oversteer or understeer. Traction Control, TC, is responsible for the longitudinal dynamics of the car. It improves traction under acceleration and prevents the wheels from locking. The intervention threshold on both control systems is relatively high with a two-stage disable function. The unique feature of PSM on the new 911 GT2 is the fact that stability control remains disabled in stages one and two, even when the ABS is required under braking. This means the car can also be enjoyed to maximum effect on the racetrack. We've pushed our limits so you can discover yours. The new 911 GT2 delivers an outstanding performance, matched only by the power of its brakes. A race-proven technology and included in the standard equipment package is the Porsche Ceramic Composite Brake, PCCB. Its main advantage is that the discs are about 50% lighter than comparable metal alternatives. 
The result is a major reduction in both the unsprung and rotating masses. This improves road holding, braking performance, and agility. PCCB also offers excellent fading resistance thanks to consistently high friction levels. The new 911 GT2 has a total of six airbags for high passive safety, two full-size front airbags with a two-stage inflation function which deploys in accordance with the force of the impact. These are combined with Porsche side impact protection, POSIP, which features two additional airbags for each front seat, a head airbag located in each door, and a thorax airbag in the folding backrest on each of the standard sport bucket seats. A club sport racing package is available as a no-cost option, offering added protection for racetrack use. Unhindered access to all key information is crucial for maximizing performance. The upshift light on the rev counter enables optimum gear shifts when accelerating. The three-spoke GT2 steering wheel is finished in Alcantara, as are the gear lever and handbrake lever. The standard folding sport bucket seats with integrated thorax airbag and manual fore-aft adjustment are designed for a dynamic driving style with extreme lateral loads. One of the unique features of these seats is the backrest pivots positioned high in the side bolsters, which provide optimum lateral support, especially for the pelvis. This is essential for the racetrack. The optional Chrono Package Plus combines a dash-mounted analog digital timer with a range of useful functions. It also features a performance display in the standard Porsche Communication Management PCM for viewing, storing, and analyzing lap or journey times. How do we know our limits? Because we choose to explore them. Respect required. The new 911 GT2.